Hey, it is me, Fashion Coder, your crypto bestie, and I am so excited to go over what we have going on today. So if you have noticed, Richard Hart in the last little while has been tweeting about great news that all of these different products are now available locally. As in, and when I say locally, you are able to run whatever it is on your own machine. That is amazing, okay? Like this is moving towards decentralization so hardcore, which is so cool. So if we look back a little bit, last week I posted a video on what Richard had posted last week and talked about, you know, how to download these specific like files and how to run them locally on your device. The biggest ones have come out in the last week though. And so that's why I'm doing another video because I'm like, this, this needs to be heard. This needs to be seen. So Richard, tweeted that PulseX and PulseChain, as well as the scanpulsechain.com are all now something that you can run locally. Which like I said, like that's so cool. But before we jump into how to do that exactly, make sure you click the like and subscribe because I am your crypto bestie here to help you with all things crypto. And you don't wanna miss out on any of that. All right, so to jump in. So what I ended up doing is I just clicked on these different links. I have them up here. Um, we are going to go over the scan one first. So this is scan.pulsechain.com. And so if we come into this, you can come in and you can run them off of these links. These are all links that you will want to save um, just in case, you know, whatever ends up happening with crypto, if you're not able to run it or if the site goes down or, you know, whatever you have it that way. So these are other sites that you can use that way or you can actually run it from your desktop. And this is personally like what I wanted to do. And so I just came in here and I clicked the download um, on Mac OS and then it downloaded. If we come up here, let's see, I have all of them downloaded. There's Pulsex. Oh, I think I need to move it just over slightly. All right, so we can come in here and we can actually go in and read the readme file as well as look at the other um, options. So if we come in and look at the readme, this is going to tell us exactly what we need to do. So at least right here on a Mac, what you're going to do is you're going to double click on the start file and then there's a little gray button that looks like a play symbol. You play that and then you're going to open up this specific local host. Uh, it will probably actually open up for you but I've had several people message me telling me that they've had like a specific error and it's not actually an error, but there's something that you can do to fix it. So we'll get into that in a second too, because people are having problems, which is totally fine. This is expected when it's something like this. All right. So there's that. So we are going to come in back here. We want to go to, actually, I think this is it. Okay. We're going to start. And we have the code right here. We're going to press the gray button and it is going to bring up what we want in the browser. Perfect. Look at this, look at this. So this is um, scan.pulsechain.com, but it is ran locally. So say that this website went down, you can come run it locally. <laughs> it's as simple as pressing the play button, which when I first like started going through this, I was like, no way. Like it can't be that easy. Like it truly can't. And it is. So welcome to the 21st century, everyone. Uh, but yeah, so you can come through here and do all the things that you want, which is great. And yeah. Okay. So then we are going to stop it. So we are going to click on the stop and then we're just going to play the stop and look, guess, look at this. It says it's going to display the dialogue Pulse Chain Explorer server has been stopped. And guess what? <laughs> it does exactly that. Pulse Chain Explorer server has been stopped. And sorry, I'm totally geeking out on this, but this is what I studied for a really long time. And I just think it's so cool to be able to see something so like upfront and live like this because there's so much work that goes on in the background for something like this. And we're just seeing the like tip of the iceberg. All right, so that is for scanpulsechain.com. Now we can go to Pulse Chain, so the launchpad.pulsechain.com, and we can look here again decentralization, robustness, and privacy are core principles of real blockchains. And so Pulse Chain is doing exactly that. So you can come in and you can click on any of these links and use those, save them, bookmark them for a rainy day. Um, but I went in and I downloaded it for my Mac OS. 
And this one, okay, that one's Pulsex, oops. I want this one. All right, same thing. You can go in and read the readme. It's probably going to be almost the exact same. Yes, look at this. So we're going to press the play button. We're going to start with start. And see, look, it has, this one's a little bit longer, which makes sense because it's the launch pad. But there is a little nugget in here that I was like, oh my gosh. When I went and looked at this, I was like, that's so cool. All right, so it's going to open up our local host. And we have our Pulse Chain launch pad. And guess what? You can actually come through here and become a validator through your own computer, like locally. Like, isn't that so cool? Like, you can go through and do that. And so do you know what that means? And I didn't go in and verify, but this is my hypothesis, is that you can completely, like, run and rule your validators locally. And I've thought about that before. Like, what if this went down? Because, you know, I, I validate. I was like, what if this goes down? Like, what actually happens, like, in that scenario? Well, don't you worry your pretty little heart. You can do it this way. So I need to still go through and figure that out. But this was just a real quick, like, oh my gosh, I think that works. So here's the launch pad. Um, you can come in and see all sorts of things, how to become a validator. Um, and if you scroll to the bottom, you can see the staking launch pad and then it like gives you all these different things. So I thought this was super freaking cool. And I don't know how many times I've said like, this is so exciting or how cool in this video so far, but like it just, it seriously is. Um, and you can also do this all on testnet. And I don't know if anyone still practices with testnet, um, but yeah, this is just blowing my mind personally. <laughs> all right, and then if, oh, we didn't stop it. So we can go in and exit that out, right? But actually, if we were to, let's go to the readme. I'm gonna show you this. So some people have been like, hey, I press play and nothing happens. Well, if you come into the readme and then copy and paste this, um, this URL, it should just bring you to that page. So if we paste this in here, look, it brings us to this because this is already running, right? We haven't stopped it. And so my local host is running the launch pad, which is kind of cool. So we can actually try that with the Pulsex one so you can see that, but we will come in here and stop it. And if we go in and just like run the Pulse, Pulsex one anyways, it's going to like override it and do that, which is great. But yeah, so I thought that was kind of a good thing to know because I have gotten messages about it. All right, next one we are going to look at is Pulsex. Same exact same thing. You can come in here, save these links for Pulsex. And then also there are some community sites that you can use um, that if this exact site, the app.pulsex.com ends up um, not 100% being there, you can also run it locally. So I came in and I downloaded it. So if we come in and look, you can also look at the readme, but it's kind of the exact same as all the other ones. And so we can come in here, we can run it and look, localhost is going to bring up Pulsex. <laughs> like I said, this is so cool. All right, so here we can see that, we can see that we can connect to our wallet, we can come in and exchange. Um, it was so funny, you know, this past weekend was Thanksgiving weekend and my family, we were doing a movie marathon and my dad walks in and he was like, did you see? And so then he sits next to me during the movie and is just doing all these transactions locally on his, like his local host for Pulsex. And I was like, this is insane. Never would I ever have guessed this. So just amazing. Absolutely love it. All right. So if we exit this and once again, we want to go back to it. We can just copy this. See, the local host does change numbers because I'm pretty sure there was a three at the end last time. So it's good to have. But yeah, if we put that in, it's going to bring us there. Just like that. Just like that. All right. And then we can come in and stop it with the stop script. Full stack server has been stopped. Just like that, you have a fully functioning pulse chain where you can, you know, go in, 
become validator, all the things within that. You can come in and exchange on Pulse Chain. You can use the scanner on Pulse Chain. And then you also have the opportunity um, to do a couple of other things. Like I was saying, Richard posted a couple, like a week and a half ago, which I made a, mo or a movie. <laughs> I made a video on that, so I'll link it up here. Um, but let's see here. We could just find it super quick. It should be. Um, all right, I can't find it. That's totally fine. It should be. I have that video, so it will be linked right there. Awesome. Well, if you have questions, if you have found things that like you're curious about or have questions or if you have comments of what you like and you don't like about this, feel free to put them in the comments below. I would love to hear your opinion on what you think, but this is such a great step for crypto. It's such a great step for the full chain community and the hex community because it really is decentralization. And as it says in literally all of these decentralization, robustness, and privacy, like this all helps with all of that. So what a great community, what a great product to be a part of because we now are all self-governing. We truly are because we get to run it locally from our own desktop. So super cool. I hope you have a great day and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.